that is not a teaching of the church. It's only a problem of discipline, not of doctrine. And this discipline, after the council, uh, it was allowed, unfortunately, I will I stress this, that lay people can distribute Holy Communion during Mass. It was completely not necessary. And it was against the entire tradition. Never in the 2000 tradition of the church, church, um, being it in the East or in the West, never, I stress, lay people had, could distribute Holy Communion during Holy Mass. Now, I stress during Holy Mass, never. This is against the entire tradition. We have to abolish this. We cannot continue this because if there is a priest celebrating Mass, there is no necessity for lay people, even if the, the, the celebration can be prolonged. Why not? We have to take time for the Lord. It's not a cafeteria service that we have to, to finish this. It's completely impossible. And our Orthodox brothers and sisters or the Orthodox churches, they give us the example. Even in the Orthodox Church, which I know, the, the Byzantine Orthodox Church, even the deacon cannot touch the body of Christ and, and give the, the Holy Communion. It's impossible. Only the priest and the bishop, even if there are a thousand uh, people, they, they, will, they will wait. The people will wait. Because this is the greatest gift, the, the body of Christ. And for this greatest gift, we have to take time, time to receive it. And not to, to make quickly, to spare time for this. This has to be the moment of the distribution of Holy Communion, has to be the most sacred and holy moment, not a quick moment to, to, to give quickly the Holy Communion. And therefore, uh, we have to, in, in the Catholic, at, before the council, it was so that the deacons could give Holy Communion, but extraordinary ministers were the deacons before the council, because they are ordained, at least. They are, have a sacramental ordination, and so they could give the Holy Communion. And this is one. The other thing, we have to distinguish, please, the praxis of extraordinary so-called ministers, lay people during Mass and outside Mass. These are, for me, uh, very important differences. So outside the Mass, of course, there was the tradition in the Church during the persecution times, even in the first centuries, and in my, in my experience in the Soviet clandestine Church, lay people could give Holy Communion, but only outside Holy Mass to bring Holy Communion to the uh, prisoners or to dying persons. Even my own mother gave Holy Communion to her mother, to my grandmother, when she was ill and there was no priest. Well, this is, these are possibilities that, that in these cases, when there is no priest to bring Holy Communion to dying persons or to prisoners, uh, lay people with the permission of a priest or, or of a bishop can bring the Holy Communion to these uh, Catholics. Of course, this is possible, but they have to do this with, uh, with the greatest possible reverence. So not uh, even when they have the permission to, to bring their, in this case, for example, they have to have in their houses a tabernacle or a small room reserved only for this uh, purpose, for prayer or to deposit there the body of Christ. I don't know the circumstances, but if, if there should be such circumstances, as was in our case in the persecution. There was a, my grand aunt, 
she had a room and there was a hidden tabernacle with the Blessed Sacrament. There we became there and made adoration because it was persecution time. So in these cases, I repeat, they could be done, but with, with, with the greatest possible reverence towards the body of Christ. This is important. And then the other aspect, when lay people bring the body of Christ to the sick or prisoners, <clears throat> They have to help them to make act of contrition because we have to receive the body of Christ with a purified heart. So to, to make, or when they have um, serious sins, then better not to receive and to ask a priest to come to, to hear confession. And so in this case, these extraordinary ministers have to seek a priest even from far, why not? And to invite him, to bring him, to drive him. This would be a good service of the extraordinary ministers, to drive a priest even from far, even when the old priest is not willing to hear confession of a dying person, then please organize you, extraordinary minister, organize uh, a trip, bring a priest, and he confesses this dying or this uh, prisoner, and he himself gives him then Holy Communion. So it has to be organized and be inventive, creative, uh, to really to provide that these people receive the Holy Confession to purify their souls. It is even more important in some way, the confession, the sacrament, than to receive Holy Communion, than to purify your soul. And so at least, and then you can make spiritual communion also. So these have to be distinguished all these aspects.